Hi, welcome, beautiful souls. I hope everyone's doing well. Happy Friday, all you work warriors out there, giving your all, leaving your families to feed the family. Love you. God bless you. Okay. Um, so what I'm picking up with the karmic feminine energy is because they're feminines. All feminine energy right now is getting um, <laughs> is getting pulled to the light. Okay, so I feel like there's like regret here. There is, um, you know, this this is gonna pertain. This is a heavy energy I'm channeling right now. So this may not be. I may not be the reader for you if you want to be in the twin flame thing and. They, you know, you want to hear how good it's going. I'm not the channel. I'm real. I tell, I talk about real things. Okay. I'm an older woman. I'm not in my teens or twenties. Happy, happy go lucky. I bit, I'm bitter, but I'm happy. Okay. I'm bitter that there's so many of our young people getting taken away by false pretenses of things. I'm bitter about that. And I'm bitter about anything else. All right. So anyway, um, so just click off now. I don't care. I'll stay with my 20 people who follow me a day, on a daily. But what I do pick up with the karmic is um, that they have a lot of regret, that they're in a lot of pain, that they want to make things right, okay? That they... Um, they've been waiting all their life for the happiness to happen, and now it, it's not coming because they did some bad stuff, okay? And they hurt some... Some of the people, what they're recognizing, I feel with the karmic feminine energies, what they're recognizing is that they, in hurting, trying to hurt someone else, they hurt themselves the most, okay? So that's just kind of like this channeled message that came in that I did not expect. So um, let's get into it. And they're not in a good place. All right, let's see. Let's see what we have. Ah. Oh, I didn't want... I, this is this is not good. All right, it's this is not good. Okay, the, and as you hear the um, sounds outside, it's because they do not want me to tell you the messages. That is a D-I-C-K masculine out there that um, works early in the morning uh, cutting stuff, met metal things, okay? And this is a sign, like the gardeners and things like that. It's a sign that spirit doesn't want me to tell you these messages. So um, that's confirmation. Okay, so they're having Chiron retrograde in Aries is making them face that they have a lot of blessings. Okay, but they they're always like it's it's a hoarding energy. Like the karmic does never feels they got they got enough. Or like I, I don't have enough. I need to secure it down. I need to nail it down. I need to lock it down. And I feel that that energy is um, them right. That they they don't work on themselves. They work on others. So they they have they're paying a, a high price for the blood work that they've done. Okay. So some of them are not nurturing, not eating. But others, okay, we're going into the weekend. So instead of like having a bender, they're going to try to do a ritualistic thing. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to look at this. Let me just give you all the messages and then I will go ahead and, and get clarifiers. So there's a desperate energy of that this person wants to make it. They, they, they want, okay. Okay, so the karmic feels that they can't trust the person that they're with. And they feel like they need to make it better, okay? Um, this person didn't have anybody to protect them when they were younger. So they're protecting what's theirs out of a natural sense of what's theirs, okay? Um, they feel like they are being pushed away to, into a foreign land. Like uh, they're being cast out okay from the whoever they're with and the um god is asking them spirits asking them to 
come from a higher mind, okay, to think differently, to start working on themselves because they are loved by their ancestors and guides, but they've been calling on the dark ancestors and, and their, their, their ancestors who are at the light are waiting for them to repent, to surrender, and they're not doing that. So um, love is not here for them, okay? They feel that love is not here for them and they're um, trying to stay focused on the blessings, but they're still not uh, taking a, they're trying to take accountability for, okay. They are trying to take accountability for their actions, which is very different. It, it's probably because of the regret energy that I felt. It's very different from what usually a karmic would do, right? Okay. This is why I don't understand it. All right. Um. I, spirit has somehow opened up their eyes to let them see that they have a lot, but they have, they themselves have managed to throw it away. Um, so they have to like sit down, pursue their passions practically like everyone else. They have anxiety and um, uneasiness and they're losing money. Uh because somebody's running away from them and so that's what that's what the, okay so their person is running away from them they have remorse and then that's the money goes out the door with that person uh it's it hasn't so this cycle hasn't been completed yet they feel it's incomplete um they lack in vision and they're very disappointed in what's going on here So they got to start investing in their material and spiritual prosperity. Wow. Okay. They're forced. They're forced to look at themselves somehow, some way. And um, it says he is so sorry. So this karmic mask, a feminine, karmic feminine is carrying a masculine energy. Uh, and they're, they're sorry somehow. They're sorry here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they, they, okay. So the karmic feminine sees that their partner is sorry to have messed with the, uh, to have hurt the em empress. Okay. And that's, that's a pain that reminds them of how nobody was there for them when they were growing up. And they have to, there's a closing to this cycle and there's a approaching end and learned lessons. Okay. So the karma is here. They, sh they needed to, okay, that I'm going to leave it there. Um, they have, they ask, they ask if they have long, if, if the other person has long-term friends that they still sleep with. But that's because they ask because that's how they are. That's who they are. Um, okay, so they can go back to these friends that they sleep with and that would be an advantage to them. Um, but they don't want to. They don't want to go back to that. They, they want that, the, the person that, that, they, that gives them money, that gives them... Um, because like they have gains without paying the price when they sleep with these people they ha they have like benefits with sleeping with these people they give them things and attention maybe things like that so let's look at this foreign energy here okay so it's foreign to them to actually create and be fruitful and birth their own creations they're used to stealing other people's ideas so that's like a foreign concept to them they don't even know how to do that they don't even know how to start so they're just like uh people who just know how to take 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 yeah they don't know how to process this energy they don't even know how where to begin oh my god this is sad sad desire to get what was lost okay so they desire to go back in time and to do it right but that, that's impossible i don't know what they're okay um take no accountability so they're trying to take accountability because justice is here oh they're being forced to take accountability because they got caught they got caught with their hands in the cookie jar is what i feel mm -hmm. okay 
and they're being talked about be up for their outrageous acts people are going to start talking about them for their outrageous acts and that's going to cause them to have a new feeling about the things that they do how they did things in the past it's going to get them away from um from doing that it's going to take them on an emotional journey or the way that not emotional it's going to take them on a they're going to have to flee they're going to have to hide for a while i feel like they have to hide they have to get away from these people who talk about them because sudden messages um this is like a tower moment yeah they're they're having like a tower moment coming it's coming for them soon they, they feel it coming it's like a dark it's like a it's like a tsunami kind of energy coming towards them oh my god okay and so they got to work and um so there's going to be there's going to be this close call with death right um somehow they might get sick somebody they love might get sick they might that something's going to jar them and wake them up and they know they will have to do the work they know they will have to do the work okay let's check out why love is not here <laughs> um they might they might be the one chasing someone like calling them and like wyd them but it's it's if they're an emotional basket case they're unreliable right now that's why love is not here because they're an emotional basket case unreliable they're not sincere that's why they're they're very dishonest and immoral is what i've been guided to say okay um i can't tap into this energy for too long but that's what i got uh the karmic feminine energy at this time pre-weekend or weekend vibes love you if you like this give me a thumbs up uh and i'll be connecting with you guys soon take care be good to you be gentle to yourselves there is redemption for everyone bye bye